G'day guys, we've got a geometry question for you today. Now, I'm going to be using radians to solve this geometry question. If you would like me to do more examples using both radians and degrees, can you please let me know in the comments section below. So this particular question, what have we got here? It's asking us what percentage of the circumference of a circular disc 10 centimetres, or radius 10 centimetres, sorry, can be illuminated from a point source of light in the plane of the disc and 12 centimetres away from it. Give your answer to the nearest percentage. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just put in all of my measurements. So what have we got? We've got 12 centimetres away from it, so this length here is going to be 12 centimetres. And we've also got a radius of 10 centimetres, so let's throw that one in. So this is going to be 10 centimetres here. And this length here from the centre of the circle to here is also going to be 10 centimetres. Now, the question is asking us to find the percentage of the circumference that's illuminated. Now, I've got a point source of light, which is here, and what it's going to be illuminating, guys, is this section of the circumference here. So, it's a bit like the sun and the moon style question. So, we've got this part of the circumference from here to there. So that's the part that's going to be illuminated. All the rest of this circle is going to be in darkness. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I have to work out, well, what the total circumference is of this circle. Now, that's quite easy. I can just do the circumference of this circle is going to be equal to 2 pi times the radius, which is equal to... 2 pi times 10. So that gives us a circumference of 62.8 centimetres. Cool. Now we have to figure out what percentage of this is this red line that we've got here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got to go about finding this particular angle here. because then I'm going to find the arc that subtends two times that angle, because we're going to have another radius which goes down to here. And we'll go through a few other things now as well. We know that this line here and the radius of this circle are going to be at tangents, so this is going to be 90 degrees, so is this one, would you believe? And as a result, we've got a nice right angle triangle here. So to work out this particular angle, I've got the adjacent side and I've got the hypotenuse, so I can use cosine. So I'm going to say that the angle that I'm trying to find, theta, is equal to the inverse of cosine or arc cos. So I'm just going to write cosine to the negative 1, the inverse of cosine, of the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, so 10 centimetres over 22 centimetres, or 5 over 11. It doesn't really matter. Now this gives us a result of 1.09, or 1.10, sorry, radians. Cool. So to work out the total length of this arc here, I've got to multiply the angle that I've just subtended by 2, because this is going to be symmetrical about this centre line here that's in, done in black. So it's quite easy to see that 2 times theta is going to be equal to 2.20 radians. Cool. So from here, guys, relatively simple to get to our solution. We then have to find the arc length of this particular angle that's being subtended. So the way that we do this, we've got a formula that we have L is equal to R theta, with theta being the angle that's being subtended from the centre of the circle. So for us, this is going to be equal to the radius of the circle, which is 10, multiplied by theta, which is 2.2. Now that's going to be equal to 22.0, or we can write it, put a zero there centimetres. So, the percentage of our circumference, guys, 
is going to be equal to the length of the arc, so 22, divided by the total circumference, which is 62.8. And then we're going to multiply that by 100 to get it into whole number terms. And we get a percentage that rather than writing equals, I'm just going to be a little bit more specific and go it's approximately because I'm just doing it to the nearest percentage point. 35%. Cool. So guys, it's a relatively simple geometry question. Sometimes people get a little bit flustered in an exam when they're presented with even the simplest type of geometry questions. But the trick is to, if you are starting to um, get flustered, if you can't see a way through it, is to just break it down. Throw in a few measurements. Go, okay, well I know that this is a tangent, so let's put a right angle here, see what it does. See if it makes it easy for me to understand. But if you can get through most of this, these are, or these should be your bread and butter geometry style questions in a sort of latter high school scenario. So I hope the video helped guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out new videos all the time. And I guess with this um, virus outbreak and the shutdown of schools, if you are having any problems with particular questions, which may be interesting for me to do on a sort of a more, more broad sort of video format, I'd be happy to hear that from you. So until next guy, time guys, keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Keep bashing your head against the wall. The wall will eventually fall down, I promise. But until the, that time guys, just make sure you keep enjoying your maths. And I'll see you soon.